Monaco return to the Stade Louis II for a match-up with Lorient, perhaps a touch frustrated that they'd thrown away an opportunity to close in on the Champions League spots last time out. A weekend where second place Lens lost and third place Marseille could only draw, and Monagas failed to take advantage after squandering a two-goal lead to draw with a Nantes side on a two-month winless run. It was Lorient who held OM to that draw last weekend, but nonetheless they remained 10th their incredible start to the campaign having faded towards the end of the season. Monaco quickly set about making amends for that draw with Nantes and got off to a flying start with Grappin Diata forcing home a deflected Alexander Golovin cross just before the quarter hour mark. Perhaps not knowing a huge amount about it, but in the right place at the right time. And they didn't have to wait long for their second. So Fofana back from suspension, won the ball in the middle of the park and fed Wissam Benyeda, who in turn picked up Golovin in the box and the Russian star did the rest. Firing beyond Vita Manoni for 2-0. Golovin has now been involved in 14 league goals this season, 7 goals and 7 assists, equaling his best total in a single season. So a comfortable lead for the hosts as the half-time whistle blew. They could perhaps rest easy in the knowledge that they had won six previous matches in which Golovin had scored this season. Only Messi, Mbappe and Martin Terrier could boast more in that particular stat. However, Lorient hadn't given up hope. They produced a few chances after the restart, including a scramble in the Monaco box. Initially saved, a back heel somehow not finding its way to goal. And eventually cleared. That hope, realistically though, only lasted 10 minutes. As Monaco then pulled further clear when Vigneda laid the ball off to Kevin Volant, who smashed the ball into the top corner. Perhaps surprisingly, just a third of the season for the German, being notched up 25 in the previous two campaigns. Those three though have come in just five starts. All Monaco's dominance. It was Lorient who had the final say, a penalty awarded after Guillermo Maripan fouled Sirino Di Cure at the very edge of the area. And a well-taken penalty by Ibrahim Kone for his 10th of the season, 7th off the bench. With just five minutes left on the clock, it was too little, too late. 30th win for Philippe Clement, his 50th match in charge. A joint highest total for a Monaco manager at that stage, which moves his side to within three points of second place. Lorient remain in mid-table mediocrity.